Hello, welcome back. I'm the Game Beaver. This is another episode of Just World the Game. I just want to start off by saying, um, you, uh, we got an arena showcase. We got an Alasaur to do, which is probably the main reason why I'm doing this. Uh, we didn't, I've already collected the card pack. Uh, so that is something that we can't get today. But, hey, we're gonna get a <gasps> super rare pack, which isn't too bad. And we might as well speed up that uh, mystery pack as well. And we can have that as the sort of, um... They won't be getting half an hour. Also, okay, <laughs> I've done a terrible intro. What I wanted to do was just address the fact that I have 130,000 DNA. Um, now, a couple of days ago, I messaged Ludia, and before I even start, I'm just gonna put on T-Rex, because it's pretty. Um, I put on a message to my contact from Ludia. I sent a message saying, uh, sorry, I'll just turn this down, it's quite loud for me. It won't be for you, but for me it is. Uh, <laughs> I said to him, uh, when's this Aquatic Park update coming out? Because I'm quite busy in September, and I just want to make sure that when it comes out, I can be there, I can get videos out, and what have you. Um, they did reply to me for about a week, so I was like, oh, maybe, uh, maybe they just do not want to commit to something. Maybe they, they'd rather just have it as a surprise, which is completely fine, it's their game. Um, and now we hide. Hide from that T-Rex. Wait, where's the rocks? Where's the rocks? Uh, uh, wait, there's no rocks in this place? No. Oh, we can- Oh, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, uh, <laughs> and, um, yesterday I got a response. And, um, they told me that the update, they are, they are, I don't know if they want to tell you, but I, I want to tell you. Um, the update hasn't got an exact date, but they're aiming for early October. Um, and apparently it's going to be a huge update. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to speculate at the Aquatic Park, like in Jurassic Park Builder. So it'll be a whole new park, decorations, missions, creatures, battle arena, hopefully. Um, I hope we won't get it in slow, so we'll only have the land, um, the land, uh, tournament. And then the next update we'll get the Aquatic Park, and then the next update Aquatic, uh, tournament. Hopefully we'll just get it all in one. We'll get the Aquatic Tournament with the Aquatic Park. And so it's going to be really big. And they also said, um, oh, we're also giving you giving you some additional DNA so that when the update comes out, you can showcase some things. And basically, just help support the channel, which is amazing. That's so awesome. Uh, and at the time, I had 80,000 DNA. So they basically gave me 50,000 DNA. So now, I have 130,000 DNA, which is, hey, Crankton. Um, that is enough to get, I think, four... Three, six, nine. Yeah, four Indominus Rexes. That would take our Indominus Rex count up to six. So we would need two more Indominus Rexes to get a maxed one. Um, I would feel bad about that because they've given me the DNA for the Aquatic Park. Not only that, but also I've been saving up my own DNA for the Aquatic Update. So, and also we have 99,999,999 coins. And there's, yeah, there's nothing really I can do to, I could set up the harbor as many times as I want, but I just click like three of these and then it's, it's, it's back up to 999 million. So somebody did say that Beavers, if you get 99 million coins before blah, 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 I will be annoyed. So he said something like that. So I'm sorry, you're probably very annoyed. Um, we also have a mission because now I have so much DNA. I have so much coins, um, but what I want to do is exactly what I did with Pel Pelican Mimics. This is my goal. If I could reach a stage where I'm happy that I've completed this game, it is this stage where I have a level 40, a level 30, a level 20, a level 10. And I can sort of go through them and see all the differences. That's when I'll be happy. Um, and I'll say, right, I've completed this game. I have all the creatures. Obviously, that's never going to happen because there's going to be so many hybrids and so much DNA. But that's the end goal. I, I would leave it there. The same with Jurassic Park Builder, except for I want to use the creatures in tournaments, so maybe not. Um, I've only ever done it with Pelican members now. And also, I think Hatsagoptrix are level 10, level 20, level 30, and level 40. So those are the only two creatures I've done it with. We are going to quickly put in Triceratops, because that will be done in two minutes. The mission I have is 92 herbivores, that'll take me to 91. And then, and then, what's my other one? I think it's another Argentinosaurus. And I have enough space. Uh, Argentinosaurus is probably the next one I could do. Uh, we need one more Monolophosaurus to get level 30. And we need two more to get level 
30 Ephokodon. Ephokodon. But we do actually have a second Shinosaurus, so we could get a level 20 little photo. So that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, I think I might do that, actually. We'll see how the uh, battles go, because it requires us a level 21 plus Allosaur. And that is a not a fair team. <laughs> Okay, um, that is not cool in the slightest. I'm gonna use Quetzer and Skeletor. Yeah, because we we did get a level 20 Skeletor in the um live stream we did because we needed something to beat. Um, I don't know what sort of showcase it was, but I just couldn't beat it. And uh, so we eventually got a level 20 hybrid. So it's not our only. Oh God, too. Of course, again, if the computer can kill you. It will, if it has the opportunity. So I only had one block and he had two goes, so one go is gonna kill me. So it takes the opportunity, which is really good, really clever, because it allows me to then just go, to use that to my advantage and to build a strategy around it. So I knew that Quetzal could easily kill it. Um, Sarkasukas is gonna come in and it can't kill me with two. So even if it does waste its goes, which it doesn't, very clever, and that it didn't, um, then I'm okay. So, four. Four. It doesn't go for anything. Now I have seven. I've got... There's no point me really going for blocks and reserves here. Um, so, three kills. It factor in two. And then uh, two reserves. So, oh, I could have uh, gone for three. Oh, you see that? His eyeballs show up for a split second. It's it only happens with Sakasukas. His model's just two out there. So, the camera actually goes through him. And you see inside him. Oh, uh, five is... Yeah, definitely. Five, five is definitely killing me. Um, by the looks of it, Ichthyostega, I think, is the strongest creature. Uh, I'm sorry, Amphibian. No, don't, don't call me on that. It's not, Indominuses. So I'm going to go for six here. Because I... Oh, yeah. You even two blocks. See? There. That was the same animation. But you didn't see Ichthyostega's eyes. And there you go. That's round one over. I think there was three. Three battles we got to do. Uh, two of them give us 250 DNA, which is awesome. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because that would suck if we didn't get 250 and it was lower. No, there is not that I really need it. I mean, of course I need it, because 130,000 DNA is probably going to be enough just to get a maxed up um, uh, Mosasaurus. And then depending if they're going to have hybrids, it's going to be crazy. Also, uh, somebody uh, found a glitch on the packs here. I'll just put it up now. And it was purple, and it's like a leaf. And I just want to explain that... Uh, Every now and again, these games have glitches like this. I play Jurassic Park Builder, where the event was actually one of my friend's faces from um, Facebook, and you can get glitches like that. This picture is actually what they use in um, modeling. It's called a normal map or specular. I think it's a normal. Specular is black and white. I think it's a normal map, and they use it in game. And basically, it gives uh, a 2D plain texture, so a 2D uh, polygon. It reflects light in a way that makes it look 3D. Even though the polygon is 2D, it makes it look 3D. So it would be attached to probably one of these trees. And I don't think we can really, like you see, it looks 3D and you can see, Hassel, stop it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, he's scratching himself. You can see um, here in the leaf, you can, it's sort of like reflecting a bit more. It's like a bump map. And instead of it just being all one color, it looks like bits of the leaf are in shadow, bits of the leaf are, you know, highlighted. So that really is, you know, saving space on the game. The same with the Parasaurolophus. It looks like um, the Parasaurolophus has this really bumpy textured skin, but the model won't have that. It's just a normal map that's put on top of... Um, of its model, which makes it look 3D. It looks awesome. It looks very poppable. So we're going to get Triceratops, and then we need to put in um, Argentinosaurus. And that will give us, I think that's our 91st. Again, Triceratops, I have so many level 40s. The Triceratops is the exception to the rule, because I used that to get loads of coins in the early game, and I don't really need that anymore. Uh, and we are going to have to buy back Allosaurus, so let's go find him. There you are, 32. How dare you. So... Uh, we're going to have a similar situation here. We're going to go first, save. Then they're going to get two goes, and they're going to use those two goes to kill me. Um, because 571 damage, which is the Pekka Uriza's damage, is more than Alasaur's health. So it's definitely going to go for that kill. 
At this point, I'm going to need something that can kill Peck Out Your Eyes while not being vulnerable to Sarkasukas. Um, so I could use my own Peck Out Eyes. That way I kill out, I kill theirs, then Sarkasukas comes in and has, and doesn't have the advantage. So that's what I'm going to do. And the only, and then I'll put in Ichthyostega for that T-Rex. Kind of worried about the last one, although I'm not, because if it's a showcase, they usually put in the Allosaur. So if it's an Allosaur showcase, the final battle will have an Allosaur. So it'll be like a level 40 T-Rex, a level 40 Sarkasukas, and a level 40 uh, Allosaur. So there you go, just as predicted. They take out the Allosaur because computers, when they see a weakness, will go for it. Um, now we have three goes here. I think we can kill it in three. We can almost kill it in two. That is just... Oh, that's annoyingly close. So we're going to go for three here. They're gonna, uh, that's going to kill out Peck Out Your Eyes. Then Sarkasukas is going to come in with two. Now, even if it goes for two hits, it's going to do about six to seven hundred damage, which, is, which isn't enough. Um, sorry, 500 possibly. And if it goes for the switch, then it's wasted to go. And it does waste to go. Um, so, and hopefully it attacks. It doesn't, but uh, I'm going to switch in Ichthyostega. Now, chances are it's going to use at least one for block. So I'm going to go for some re uh, reserves here. Yeah, I thought so. Now, I could have attacked there. Um, I would have been in the same situation. There wouldn't have been really much um, difference because one hit still would have killed them. Uh, sorry, two hits would have killed them. Uh, so, she goes for the switch, but we build up points. Now, he had three, he has two left. So, max it could have go for is two block. So, two hits kills it. Uh, factor in that two block. And then we got one for reserve. Uh, oh, and they go for one. I Did I miscalculate? I might have, actually. No, no, because they, they had two goes with two. So, that would have been three. Yeah, now we got four, now five. And it's probably going to kill me. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I'm going to go for Ichthyostega. And guess they go for two block, and I'm going to go for four. Oh, full out block. Okay. All right, Mr. T. You got five again. Doesn't go for anything. I'm going to go for four attack. Goes for four block again. Oh, it's just denying me here. And it keeps having five. What are you doing? I'm going to keep going for it. Come on. Oh, it's gonna get two this time. So it's gonna have seven. No, six, sorry. Six could kill us, easy. Oh, but it goes for four, it's two in block. Uh, yeah, we're good, easy. And there you go. I mean, I could have went for reserves on one of those turns and then completely ate them. But, ah, uh, Peck Out Your Eyes, this is gonna have eyeballs today. And I'm gonna get, what does Peck Out Isis do? That's right. And feeds them to the battle. That's another 250 DNA. And on to the final. Is it Alice? Oh, it is! Um, oh, great. I've used all my Pteranodons here. <laughs> um, oh, no, I have a level 30 pack of your eyes. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, that's what happens when you play this game so, so much. Um, we do have a level 10 as well. The level 10 is kind of useless. Um, now, because their Alasaur isn't going to do what the other ones did, which is go for two straight away because it cannot kill us, I'm going to go for Microbosaurus because I, I haven't really used this guy. That's right, be intimidated. So we're going to go for all reserves here because the more block, sorry, the more turns you save up early in the game, uh, the better. So, is it going to go for an attack? It does! Oh, sneaky. But I'm kind of glad, because Pekka Rises comes in. Baba Isis. Because it's not a fully formed Pecky. But Baba Isis has grown strong on the eyeballs that Pekka Rises has gone. Has got to it. So, uh, it doesn't have anything. So, two has definitely killed it. One reserve. Now, Alasaur is not a threat here. Uh, that was 224, 204. Wow, it's got more, even though it's four levels lower. It's got more attack, but not as much damage, I should say. So, I'm going to go for a full-on attack. Baba Isis is going to kill them all. Yeah! Buenos. And in comes Allosaurus 3. Yeah, 3. One, two. It does kill. not have enough to kill me. Oh, my God. 
Is it gonna kill a wall? Oh, my eyes just cut. Awesome. That was beautiful. It didn't even get hit once. Didn't even get hit once. That's amazing. And that takes us to our super rare pack. And we are gonna get... Oh, thank God. I was hoping we were gonna get loads of bugs. Because that's the only thing I don't have is bugs. Um... So we might as well spend that on that. And... Um... Now, I would be tempted here to go for Unicorn Wizard, then Indominus Rex, and then Microposaurus, but I think... Oh wait, no, that's a level 40 Spinoraptor. Of course I need that Microposaurus. Because that level 40 Spinoraptor is better than the level 20, um... Indominus Rex, strangely enough. Um, what's quite interesting is that Indominus Rex is the only hybrid that has its own name that isn't a splice between the two dinosaurs merged together. So Spinoraptor, Conoraptor, um, and all that. But I would like to see some other ones, some weird, like, cool names come out. Um, like, maybe... F How about double hybrids? So, Fuse Indominus Rex with another hybrid, so maybe T-Rex and Spinosaurus, and that could make like Diabolus Rex or something like that. That would be, and that would cost so much DNA, but if you had it, it would be amazing. Uh, they're all, all ideas for the future, guys. So in comes Unicorn Wizard. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Uh, I don't know if Unicorn Wizard is gonna do too well here. Oh god, okay, it did go for fun too. Uh, Unicorn Wizard, um... One, two... Ah, oh, it's got a- you know, it, it killed a hybrid at level 40. I'm happy with that. And this is all for a mystery pack. Ah, two, four, five... Can I kill it? I think it can. Yeah, I think it can. I'm sorry, Unicorn Wizard. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. So Shunosaurus had the opportunity to kill Unicorn Wizard, that's why it took it. Because Indominus can uh, pretty much wipe the floor with Littlefoot, even at level 36. So it brings in Spinoraptor with that 1000 damage, it is daunting. Really, really daunting. It goes for one. Look at that damage! Wah! So it has two block, possibly. So three is enough to kill it! And it went for one block. How much damage does that do? 6,157 for... Was it... Three? Or four? Attack? That was... I mean, that damage is ridiculous. I couldn't imagine level 30 or level 40. It would be st stupid. Absolutely stupid. So there you go. Uh, won some more DNA back with that. And some more DNA. That takes us to 131,000. We did get another mission, which is spend one million coins. Uh, I can easily do that, mate. You ain't seen nothing. Um, the best, the easiest ones to spend the money on are the Brontosaurus fossil and also the... Well, you know what I'd do? If you have 99 million coins, there is no way for you to get more. Or so you think. I'll show you how you can get 99 plus... Um, sorry, 99 million plus coins. Okay. I mean, it's not really. It won't be shown up there, but in your park, you will. So let's just go around and get to that 99 million again. Actually, I don't think I would be able to. No, I can't. <gasps> oh no! So what you could do is I am eventually going to do a whole redesign of this park because there is just... It is a meh. Apart from this segment and this segment, I'm quite happy with. But the rest of the park is a, in... It, it's a tip. I'm going to admit, like... This bit here, I'm not happy with. This bit is just carnivores, and then just the rest. I have no idea what the hell is going on with it. Um, so I am going to sort of sort that out. But the way you get more coins, so let's say you have 98 million, like I do right now. Um, spend it all on the most expensive thing, a Palosaurus fossils. Let's say in a month, you're back up to 99 million coins. But... 
new things have came out, you've got coins to spend, so you spend all your money and you've got nothing. You're like, oh man, if only there wasn't that level cap. Then you go back and sell all of the Brontosauruses that you bought, all 99 of them. Uh, there you go, you're back up to 45 million because it's about 50% you get back. So that is the way to get more than 99 million coins. Um, there isn't really any other way to do it uh, apart from coins. You can't get plus with food, date, DNA, or books. Unfortunately, um, I'm going to put in Superosaurus into that other slot. That, uh, that's what I would suggest you do if you have a legendary or a super rare. You put it in that second slot. Don't use these other two because there's, there is really no point because the next one costs 25 bucks to unlock and the one after that costs 50 bucks to unlock unless you want you want to do it. Uh, there really isn't any need to do it. Just have your first slot free for commons and rares because overnight a rare will be done. During the day, whenever you check up constantly or whatever your checking rate is, the commons will be done. But that second slot, have it for legendaries, have it for super rares. Unless, actually this super rare is done in 9 hours. So you could probably put that in the first slot if you're going to sleep and you know you're not going to be up for 9 hours. Uh, legendary is definitely in that second slot. Everybody will make a mistake of putting the legendary in the free slot and be like, No, I can't hatch anything else without it costing 10 bucks a pop. But that is life. That's what happens. So with super source, I have three other ones. Plus this one that's in. So that is a level 40 Superosaurus, a level 30 Superosaurus, um, Ankylosaur is the only creature I don't have? <gasps> no, 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 there it is, there it is, okay, I was gonna say, I think I've got all of them and I do. So, what do we need? We need, uh, that's 50 bucks, and I'll get that off screen, because... I'll just have a quick look around the park to see if there's- Oh no, do not click that, that is bad! Uh, <laughs> Oh, like where I got two level 40s. So much fluffy. Uh, two level 40 Tapajaras. All would have been for missions, I'm sure. Peck out your eyes is looking strong. Um, I know I'm gonna have to fuse like all my level 40s that I've just got that I don't need. So, ones that haven't been fused, like Peck out your eyes, I know there's gonna be a hybrid that I'm gonna have to fuse it with. I don't know. I think what would be cool is if you put a carnivore and a herbivore together and they're sort of like a mixed class. So like a carnivore's weakness is an amphibian. So it would be weak to amphibian and weak to carnivores, but it would have a resistance to No, but it would be good against herbivores and flying so you get multiple weaknesses if you did that that would be quite a cool thing I don't know how that would work but that is just one idea I think that would be pretty cool if uh, if Ludia put that to it so you get like uh, yeah it was sort of getting into realms of Pokemon then when you have rock and ground or flying and fighting you'd have amphibian and flying a flying amphibian or a, a carnivorous herbivore or just have them as omnivores like have them as a different class um, but yeah, like, all of these, I could sell these, um, it's all money that is saved up, really. But uh, right now, I'm sort of using it just to get extra money to fill, um, to fill the rest of them up. Microbosaurus! I have enough to get level 40, well, sorry, level 30, and then that would leave me with... Yeah, level 40 and a level 30, Indominus Rex. I don't want to think about it, I could get a level 30, and it is very, very tempting. Because it would cost me 60 thousand DNA which would bring me to about 70,000 about the same level as I was at before uh, Ludia gave me those uh, that DNA burst but again I just I don't know what this aquatic park is going to be like we're going to have new creatures probably they were leaked we're going to have Ceratosaurus I'm sure that was the only one I remember we're going to have Ceratosaurus in the land park uh, for the aquatic probably like 12 maybe more creatures 12 plus and to max them all up i'm pretty sure 130,000 dna is going to be enough to max them up i'm hoping i've got my fingers crossed for that uh, what i will do though is get a level 20 shinosaurus oh the hatchling's complete awesome well i'll tell you what i'll i'll get it into the uh i'll i'll do the dna because i've got too much of that but i won't speed it up because I need these bugs, and if we're talking Aquata Park has a lot of creatures, and I have to evolve a lot of them, 
then that's gonna be a lot of books to speed them all up so i'm gonna save that um but there we go we have argentinosaurus which is ready really weird how they're transitioning back to the old model i hope they bring it back i don't know i don't i don't really like this model anymore when it first came up everybody was like oh suck god why did you do this and i was like you know what no maybe maybe they're doing something for a reason and then after a while I'm like nah nah it sucks <laughs> so that is another 50 bucks and that is gonna have to wrap up the episode just say thank you for all the support you guys have left on this series, we're on a over a hundred episodes and I didn't do anything crazy special for the hundredth episode, it wasn't like an hour long. We did start to do the Brawlosaurs, which, um, I mean, I was happy about it. I, they're awesome, they're awesome toys. It was great seeing them. What I was originally going to do though, was have one video for each of the Brawlosaurs, but I think I decided in the end that was a bit of a stretch by the time they were all done, because there's what, like 20 or 30 of them? It just wouldn't... I think you guys would be pretty turned off of Brawlosaurs at that point. After 10, you'd be turned off. And we didn't even get up to 10 episodes. Uh, actually, we didn't even get up to 10 episodes. And some guys would be like, where's, in, where's the normal ones? But uh, I just want to thank you. Because um, without you guys, wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be doing this. We get these awesome opportunities. So really, it's all up to you. And there's, there isn't much else I can say to that. Except for just thank you. All those... Um, all those hours you spend on YouTube <laughs> catching up or whenever you have that free time to just watch a video or leave a comment. I made a video actually, um, it was the mystery packs that Hasbro did that I was really annoyed at, well kind of hurt at because there was so much good opportunity there that it was completely squandered and but it was so amazing to look in the comments and see you guys feel exactly the same like yeah, I 100% agree with you, Beaver. No, you're not going over the top. Because <laughs> I thought I might have been a little bit. Uh, but just having that, like you guys there, just to sort of cement my what I already thought and that you supported uh, what, I, like, what I had to say means like so much to me. So till next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. And oh, you could also click on these other two to take you to other ones that you may also enjoy. And if you want to, you can also subscribe. That's a thing you guys can do. And if you subscribe, you'll be updated on whenever I make a new video. So just want to say thank you for checking out this video. And hopefully I'll see you in another one. Oh, bye-bye.